The owner of the historic Jewel Theater says they need over $2 million to restore it. News 9's Angelicia Bruton spoke to the owner about his efforts to bring back a special part of Oklahoma City's black history. Northeast 4th Street holds a special place in Oklahoma City's black history. One gem is the Jewel Theater, the only black theater in Oklahoma City still standing. Frankenstein and Wolfman and Dracula. And I used to love to come see the horror movies. They were sort of funny, but still kind of scary at the time. Arthur Hurst owns the theater. The uh, Jewel Theater originally had uh, 320 seats in it, so it didn't have a balcony, but we had 320 seats in the theater. He says he was a regular at the theater in its heyday. The theater opened in the 30s and closed in the 60s. We hope to show movies again. We intend to have some live entertainment in there also. And uh, hopefully to get an opportunity to... to uh, introduce young kids to stage and to plays. And to help bring his dream to life, Hearst is working with a nonprofit group called Congress for the New Urbanism. The ultimate goal of these legacy projects is to provide forward momentum for projects that would otherwise be neglected um, and get community input to that basis, that momentum. Northeast residents shared their memories of the East Side and proposed new ideas for what programs they would like to see. They also gave input on an art installation project for the building. Black cultural spaces uh, from that period are disappearing quickly, and there's few that are left. And if you drive by it right now, it looks like another abandoned building, um, and that that's really does disservice to, it, to its history. Congress for the New Urbanism will host their annual conference here in OKC in late March. The Jewel Theater plans to be there. This conference could help them create strategies to help secure funding. In Oklahoma City, Angelicia Bruton, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.